Hey everyone, if you've been wondering how to create a timestamp on a post using the relative time plugin in Bubble, then this is the video for you. This timestamp of 48 minutes ago on this post, we're basically going to be creating the same feature over in Bubble. So here in Bubble, what I have set up for our data types is a comment that will be created and that con comment has some content in it. And then over in the design area, what we have is a repeating group that basically, if we take a look at its data source, it just goes out and search for all comments and then sorts them by the created date. So basically, uh, it's a list of comments and posts. So now here on this leave a comment area, we are going to assign this from when someone writes to this input here we've just assigned that in the workflow to uh, create a comment and fill the content with the comments or that uh, inputs value. So basically uh, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show off there's a plugin called the relative time moment plugin. So just go ahead and search for that here and then install it. And I'm just gonna do a quick refresh there because it looked like it was installed and then I reinstalled it. Not sure. So um, just double check on that. Yep, cool, great, installed. So now we are here over on the design tab, we can see under visual elements, we have this relative time item. And then under our elements tree, for within this repeating group, just going to delete out the old one I had for testing here. And then I'm going to show you basically all the steps that you would use to set this up. So like many other plugins, you need to drag in the uh, a little element of that plugin onto the page. And so just to take a look at the structure of the data of what's going on here, we have a repeating group, again, that gets all the comments that just exist in the database. Right now, uh, that is, for comments, that, that's none. And then uh, the, this group that's inside of there has, uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and give that a bit of a shadow style. So just a quick outset. And then we can take a look at what's going on this. So the data for this group is just current cells comment. And then with access to that comment, we also have another group here that takes the parent groups comment. So we have some things grouped together because basically we'll have the name of the person that commented. And we'll have their comment itself. And then we have this little element, which we'll just take down to one by one pixels, and move it off to the side. And then now with that there, what we're going to do is we'll just give a little bit of space. Yeah, four is fine. And then here on this, uh, next piece of text. We're gonna have this one go to this relative time elements current value. And then we just need to set up the that relative uh, times elements. And this is the step if you are watching this video to get, just get this point. This is the important point to pay attention to for how to use this plugin is you wanna check Whatever thing it is that you're, uh, you're creating and you want the timestamp to be tied to, you just want to go and find its creation date. So in this case, this parent group has these comments in it. And so basically what we've got going here is um, these comments. And then I'm just gonna take this group, let's see on the right hand side, I'm gonna give it a margin of 10. And then for the appearance of this one, I'm just gonna drag it to like a lighter gray. Okay, so we don't have anything because we have no comments in our database. So what we need to do is we need to go and we need to run it as one of our users. So now that we're running it as a user, let's go ahead and leave a comment. Okay, so we left a comment. And then now let's go into another one. And we're just gonna have a nice little conversation here. And 
we can see that these were left all a few seconds ago. And I'll actually wait a little bit for this one because we kind of let it uh, give give a little bit of lag between these two. Should be enough. Okay, the design is not the greatest there. Just give that a nice minimum width. And then we'll refresh that. And so we can see here that these were left a minute ago and this one was left a few seconds ago. And basically that's how you use the relative time plugin in Bubble.